this is Cthulhu and welcome to Let's Play Link's Crossbow Training, a weird tech demo-y thing for the Wii Zapper, despite the fact there is no tech for that to demo. Anyway, this is a pretty neat game, it's the only Zelda spin-off that I know of, and it's not very good. I mean, it's pretty cool for what it is, but if you didn't buy it, which I don't think it was very popular, this might show you what it's like. I think it's pretty neat. I used to be kind of good at it. Basically, there are a bunch of targets everywhere, and your Link, who has supposedly been given a magical Wii Remote crossbow, and you go through the lands of Twilight Princess and tech demo the Wii Zapper, which was totally useful for anything. I used to be pretty good at this, and now I'm okay at it after practicing for a little bit. Anyway, there are these uh, scarecrows, which give you a bunch of points if you kill them, or you shoot them to inflate their pumpkin heads, and then they give you more points. I don't really get that, but it's pretty neat. And then, like, almost everything you can see that looks like it's an actual object, um, whoops, yeah, you get a multiplier, and that's the only way to get a high score, basically, and I just totally blew my multiplier, but yeah, all these random objects, you can shoot them and get a small amount of points without messing up your multiplier, but I tend not to, because it seems risky, and apparently they don't want me to shoot cuckoos. But yeah, this is a pretty simple game. Later, the things that are you shoot at get more complicated and move, but for now, it's just teaching how to do it. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory in a lot of places like that. You have to shoot all the regular targets to get a gold one, which is worth more. And It's like 2,000 points for a bronze, more than that for a something else, and more than that. And already they've gotten into quote-unquote combat, which is basically just moving enemy targets. There's nothing resembling a real, real Zelda game anywhere in this game, and we do get some control in some later parts. And pretty fun, I think. I mean, I was really complaining about it a lot when I was learning how to play. It has a kind of sharp learning curve, especially if you're sitting too close to, too close to the TV for the remote to register right here. You forget to um, set up the sensor so it isn't super sensitive. Anyway, this gives you some automatic crossbow bolts, which... I don't like using because they generally mess up my multiplier, which I'm apparently trying to keep through this because I care about high scores. Yeah, you get pretty ridiculous scores after a while. And there goes my multiplier. That's probably more satisfying. Anyway, holy crap, I kind of raped that. That's a pretty good score for me. I mean, back in when I was actually trying to get good scores at this, I could get like, uh, four or five thousand, fifty, forty or fifty thousand on each one of these. And anyway, I forgot this went so quickly, but yeah, this is the first one where you get control and it's pretty fun, although I don't particularly like this one. You're going through the Arbiter's Grounds, trying to kill all these Bulblins. Pretty self-explanatory. There are all these neat things you can shoot for bonus points. Uh, I, whoops, yeah, I tend to miss sometimes, and oh yeah, you can zoom in with the Z button, which is kind of cool. These guys actually give you infinite eight points, but eight points isn't very much in the scheme of things. So it's still addicting to do that, and you get a thousand for that, which is pretty nice. I think this has a gold thing inside of it. No. Yeah, sometimes when you break random scenery objects, a gold thing pops up, which is worth a thousand when it first spawns, and then quickly goes down. This obviously is going to be a pretty short let's play. Well, I guess it's not super obvious if you're not familiar with the game, but this is going to be a pretty short let's play, but still think it might be interesting to just see a casual run for people who never bought it, which I assume is a lot of people because the Wii Zapper didn't exactly do very much. I'm just going to go melee on them, or not melee, uh, rampage, I guess. Yeah, I have a hard time paying attention to where things are, so I'm not even going to get the... In missions like this, you don't, like, die if you don't 
fulfill the goal or whatever, which I did not. Oh, I almost got a gold. There's up to a platinum, which I think is 80,000. It is a pretty fun game if you, like, ever find... Well, I would say it's if you ever find it for free, or, like, not for free, but without the zapper, you might want to get it, but... A zapper is kind of neat for a piece of plastic, and it makes it easier to use it as a gun-type thing than a Wii Remote. Anyway, these guys hold the... Hey, I don't want to know what's holding those on. Well... And apparently if you hit the center of a gold target, or yeah, if you hit the center of a target, you get three times the default score. And I tend to be kind of bad at getting that regularly, but it does help a lot. I mean, I'm sure if you wanted to practice a lot, you could get pretty ridiculous scores here, compared to, like, a casual person who would not be chaining and stuff. And... It's... Yeah, see, that's the problem. You have to be mixed being quick with accurate, and if you take too long and are trying to chain up the gold one for last to get a bigger bonus out of it, you could potentially just lose it altogether, which is obviously not good. I like this game. It is a very nice tech demo for the thing that is not technology and doesn't really have very much to demonstrate. I still have not seen anything that has used this or, like, recommended using it. I could try it for Metroid Prime, I guess, but it just feels a little weird, but... Still definitely a pretty cool thing. And there we go, that's nowhere near- that's more like the scores I was getting on my practice run, but... I get- I got some nice chains, and as long as you get a bronze medal, you get to advance, and there's nothing really besides a self- a sense of satisfaction you get for medals, I think, so... Oh yeah, you can charge up to shoot bombs, and they tend not to do anything, but they do become helpful later. There are these fish that I don't know what they are, they kind of remind me of Zoras in the old Zelda games. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot this was not so on rails that you could control the camera. When you can, in fact, control the camera. For some reason it takes 8 instead of 10 hits to fill it up to give you a 1,000, but... There are these tech types which are kind of annoying, I usually lose my multiplier to them. And that gave me a fairy worth a 1,000 points, apparently. Yeah, this is really a fun game, it just takes, like, memorable parts of Twilight Princess, sometimes not so memorable parts, and turns them into a rail shooter. It's quite good to get the feeling of Twilight Princess without playing heavy-handed gameplay like Twilight Princess has, and oops, I already passed this level. Yeah, this isn't, like, the world's longest or most difficult game, unless you're going for, like, the world's best scores. Oh, and I'm generally horrible at this. Good thing I got the medal already. You're just basically... I forget the word for what it is. Um, shooting those things that get pulled up into the air, except instead of things, they're skulls. And they're kind of small and go up quickly, and I tend to lose my multiplier too much to ever get a good score, but I'm doing okay here. I love how I say 10 like I played this game for more than a few days ever, but yeah, stuff like that happens, and I'm just, I already won, so I'm just gonna rampage on this guy. Probably gonna get more points doing this than I would otherwise. Sure is fun that I'm just ignoring the regular game and doing this and still getting an acceptable score. And you can still shoot it for one after it's decapitated, which is pretty great in my book. Yeah, it was an uh, utterly awful score. Even I could have done better than it if I tried, but... Believe it or not, I wasn't trying super hard right there. I got a bronze medal.